Venus is a place you would never want to visit. Often called Earth's twin because it's nearly equal in size and composition, Venus is a world of extremes. It's the hottest planet in the solar system, and it has the longest day. One day actually lasts longer than one year. So you could celebrate two birthdays on the same day. Reaching Venus only takes about 100 days, but scouting a landing site is impossible. The entire surface is permanently shrouded in clouds made of poisonous sulfur dioxide. As you descend through them, you'd be struck by 220 mile per hour winds. 30 miles down, the winds subside, and you'll enter a toxic haze. Venus's clouds rain sulfuric acid, but the atmosphere is so hot, the rain evaporates in midair, generating a haze of sulfuric acid over 10 miles thick. As you exit the haze, the temperature is 600 degrees Fahrenheit, and the pressure is 10 times greater than at sea level here on Earth. By the time you reach the surface, the pressure will be 92 times greater, the same pressure you'd feel half a mile under the oceans on Earth. And the temperature is a balmy 870 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to melt lead. Don't think that landing on Venus's North Pole will be any cooler. Venus barely tilts on its axis, making the entire surface the same temperature, day and night, year round. Let's say you somehow find a way to survive down here. Exploring Venus would be extremely difficult. Venus's clouds reflect 90% of sunlight that hits them, so the surface is dimly lit, making it hard to see anything beyond two miles. Plus, you'll need a continuous supply of oxygen. Venus's atmosphere is 96% carbon dioxide, 3.5% nitrogen, and less than 1% carbon monoxide, argon, sulfur dioxide, and water vapor. Then there's the risk of cell damage and possible cancer. Venus has no magnetic field that we know of, so being bombarded by high-energy cosmic radiation is a major concern. One silver lining? You'd feel slightly lighter on Venus. Venus is 91% the mass of Earth, so you'd weigh about 10% less. Sound like a good time? Some people used to think Venus's clouds hid a tropical paradise underneath. It wasn't until the 20th century that spacecrafts unveiled its true, hellish nature. Sending humans to Venus is a long shot, but between 1970 to 1982, the former Soviet Union successfully landed eight uncrewed spacecrafts on Venus. The longest any lasted was just 110 minutes. It's been over 30 years since we sent anything to explore Venus's surface, and some experts think we're long overdue.